Hey there, so today in this episode of Star Trek Discussed, I will be ranking the Enterprises from my least favorite to my most favorite. So, I'll be including e everyone that has appeared in a TV show or a movie. So, pretty broad thing. And this video was inspired by a comment by Montgomery Wolf from my worst Star Trek video, or worst Star Trek ship video. Sorry, I mispronounced that. But, um, what he said with his least favorite is I do agree with him on this. It's the Enterprise D. It's so big and in a way a bit unrealistic. It's, it's, the saucer is over, but still clearly a saucer. It's just not a great design, and that's the main reason why I like it. Oh, I, it's my least favorite. My next least favorite is the Reboot Enterprise. I just don't like how it's so advanced. Com ex com like it looks like it's ten years. No, not ten years. Hundred, two hundred years more advanced than the Enterprise D. So there's that. But uh, my next least favorite is the Enterprise B, which was an Exosius class ship. But kind of a neat design. It just seems kind of odd. The design as a whole. And then after that, I would, my next least favorite would be the Enterprise C. It has the hallmarks of the um, Enterprise D, but it's, it was, in my opinion, just m just more. Um, the story was that I, the storyline it was featured in was very great. It was very good. It was a very nice story. I um, mean, after that, this would be my fifth favorite, which is the original. Enterprise design, the old pre-refit Constitution class design. This is—it's just so iconic. That's probably why it's my fifth favorite. My fourth favorite is the is, is the NX Enterprise. So I'm probably going to get some hate in the comments for that, but it's a really nice design. It's small. It definitely shows development from. From there all the way up to the Constitution class, from you no know, secondary, how much smaller. It shows nice, good improvement, but still distinctly Star Trek. So after that would be my third favorite, which is the Enterprise E, which is a sovereign class starship. Which the only thing I really don't like about it are the warp cells, but I do. I like how it's um, its sleekness. That is probably what I like the most about it. And it was involved in First Contact, which was a pretty good movie. But yeah, this the Enterprise E is overall a nice design. And it's definitely better. It's um, it 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 also reminds me a little bit of Voyager as well. You can't see where I going here though. So after that, to my second favorite is the Enterprise J. You, the only reason why I like it is because of how unique it is. The coloring is unique. It's just a very unique design, but but the flatness holds back to the NX Enterprise. And it's probably not, in my <laughs> to be honest, it's probably not the most functional Star Trek starship out there, but it's just unique. That's probably why it's my second favorite. But for my favorite one is kind of going to be put out a little differently is the is the Enterprise A or the or you can also say the Enterprise Refit so basically the Constitution Refit class so you can put the Enterprise the first one NCC 1701 after it was refit or the Enterprise A they look identical except for one has an A in added to it and one doesn't I just kind of liked how this one was designed it was if you can still tell with the Enterprise, in my opinion, it's much better than the refit, not the refit, the reboot Enterprise. But, um, it's still, it's very nice. You can see, you know, development, the progress in it between it and, you can see how, when you put the NX Enterprise, the original series Enterprise, then you put the refit Enterprise, and then you put the, the Enterprise D. You can see technological progression. You can see how they got from from the NX or NX class type all the way up to the galaxy and beyond. You can see how that's going. 
you can you redo really see that, which I think is kind of neat. So that though, because my voice is starting to get hoarse, is going to conclude my a video on my ranking of the Starship Enterprises. So, thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, please leave a like. Comment down below what is your favorite and your least favorite enterprise, or you can rank them like I did. Your choice. And in the comments down below, if you want to include non-canon ships, non-canon enterprises, go ahead. You can even include real-world enterprises if you want to. Might do that in the future. Probably not, but you can if you want to. So thank you for watching. Subscribe for future Star Trek content. Consider supporting me on Patreon. Also, check me out on social media. Links are in the description. Check out one of the two videos I have on screen now. And also consider visiting my website. And as always, have a good day, a good night, wherever you are, live long and prosper.